Friday, May 3. From the comments in the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 3, page 1157, Ellen White writes, Christians should be careful that they keep the heart with all diligence. They should cultivate a love for meditation and cherish a spirit of devotion. Many seem to begrudge moments spent in meditation and the searching of the scriptures and prayer as though the time thus occupied was lost. I wish you could all view these things in the light God would have for you, for you would then make the kingdom of heaven of the first importance. To keep your heart in heaven will give vigour to all your graces and put life into all your duties. To discipline the mind to dwell upon heavenly things will put life and earnestness into all our endeavours. We are dwarfs in spiritual attainments. End of quote. And that brings us to our three, no, four discussion questions for this week. One, many Christians find a support group network helpful as they seek to guard their hearts against temptation. In what way might this augment prayer, Bible study and reliance on the Holy Spirit? In some cases, why might it be a good idea to seek professional help if someone really struggles with temptations that do lead them into sin and they seem unable to stop? 2. As a class, read your answers aloud to Wednesday's final question. Discuss the implications of your various answers. As with so many of the wonderful things that God has given us, how can laughter and humour be perverted and twisted into being something actually harmful? 3. In contrast to Proverbs 31, what qualities does contemporary culture tend to exalt in women? How can we as individuals protect ourselves from partaking of that same degrading attitude? For, in general, what are some of the cultural attitudes about family life in your society that directly conflict with biblical principles of family life? On the other hand, are there some cultural attitudes that parallel biblical principles? If so, what are they? And how can they be used to strengthen our families? You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.